Hello, Mayday family. How are you guys doing? So I'm really excited because I finally got some lights. So this would absolutely not be, be possible otherwise because it's pretty late right now. So wanted to share that victory with you guys because I know I complain about lights just about in every video. So I finally went ahead and was able to get some. So I'm really excited. I started YouTube. I kind of started out. I was a little bit nervous, of course, about kind of sharing my life and um, kind of putting myself out there, you know, because there's always going to be someone that says something about anything that you do. So it's, it can be a little bit nerve wracking. And But since I started it, I, I'm so happy that I did. Um, I love you guys really from the bottom of my heart. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button uh, to support and join the Mayday family. Um, you guys have always been so awesome and supportive. Most of you anyway. <laughs> so um, just want to tell you guys that I love you for that. So anyway, dive in right in. So you guys, I was... I was the rebound I will go ahead and say it it's hard to say it is hard to say because who wants to be the rebound girl like who wants that for their lives I don't but I feel like I was anyway I mean obviously the guys will always tell you that you're not they'll always tell you They'll, they'll tell you whatever it is they feel like you need to hear to get what they want. But at the end of the day, you have to know your worth and you have to know your value and you have to know when to walk away and, and not allow for certain things to happen, right? So anyways, um, what happened? So this guy I've been knowing for about three years. We were kind of on and off talking, not necessarily like we talk and date. So we're just on and off. Like we talk. Sometimes it would go into us dating. Sometimes it wouldn't. And uh, we met at like a pool hall. He plays a lot of pool. And instantly I felt like a connection to him, even though when we met, he was kind of on a date, but it was like their first date and whatnot. Uh, so one to two months in you guys of meeting this guy I already knew that it wasn't gonna work because he was being flaky he really wasn't um, being as responsive as a guy who's fully invested or interested would be things like that so uh, I called it off but anyways it's been on and off and recently uh, what I did was so you guys would need to know this in order to kind of understand but I called I not only called it off because it was on and off for two years and I got tired and frustrated at the fact that we talk he'd leave we come back I'd leave come back like it was just like on and off constantly and I just could not take it anymore so I literally legit told him that it's I, I told him hey it's over and I literally um you know deleted him from everything I did and there's gonna be another video that I'll make on how to get over a breakup uh, a really hard one at, at that but any breakups this the technique works for any breakup I promise you like it will work so if you've had a, ever had a hard time getting over any breakup or anything like that that video is coming soon but anyways I kind of deleted him from everything but uh, and I started just working on get moving past that whole situation and I did he found a way back he reached out to me via Facebook we weren't even friends on Facebook turns out you can send messages to people that aren't even your friends so that's what happened and he had already been trying to reach out to me I just was ignoring the text and all that stuff but um, this time around long story short I responded and I was like you already had your shot we are we already had our shot and it never works out it's just not healthy for us to continue to do this and 
and obviously that was not good enough for him if you if you know his personality like losing is he's really selfish you know have you guys ever met a guy or a person just that's just really selfish and worse the worst part is they don't even know that they're that selfish and they couldn't even begin to fix it if they wanted to they're just really selfish and so me saying that doesn't really mean anything it, because it's not what he wants right so anyway he continues to pursue so I asked him the question and I told him like if if you're this serious about it then why now like it's been three years and you were always flaky or whatever the case may be and he proceeded to explain to me that it's because there was this girl that he was in love with for six years so he met this girl three years prior to meeting me so it's been six years now sorry I'm not about that chappy lip life and you guys I've made a video and this was on it before it's one of the first videos I made life changing anyways so he proceeded to tell me that well he was in love with this girl that and it's been on and off six years but she had a boyfriend for five of those five and five and a half years of those six years so apparently she's been cheating on her boyfriend with him but he obviously never required or said hey gave her an ultimatum as far as leaving her boyfriend they just kind of kept doing that and so I was like okay so why are you here again you know and he was like well the thing is that we finally got a chance to be together because her and her boyfriend broke up and we were together for like three four months or so and we just he she decided to break up with me I was happy in the relationship but she wasn't so finally I'm able to move on so his reasoning behind this whole thing is that well now now he's able to move on and let go so he's able to come into something new to which mm, I was like okay no because it sounds to me like you're trying to make me your rebound and I'm not having that that's just not gonna happen and over the course of three weeks I tried to see if it's something I could live with if I was happy with him and stuff like that and I was not so I ended up leaving him as well and I just ended up telling him you know it's not gonna work for me I'm good I'm out you know and he was trying really hard but I honestly couldn't get it out of my mind that I was a rebound for him and I just couldn't get over that I couldn't get over that I can get with the program on that so I know your story might be different it might not necessarily be that you're a rebound um, just off of that specific situation it might be that the guy was in an actual relationship and now he's coming back right after breaking up with his girlfriend's long or short-term girlfriend and now all of a sudden saying he wants to be with you and you guys know your value know your worth okay if he's not going to choose you first it's not worth it it's not worth it to be the rebound you know what I'm saying because you'll never um, be able to fully be happy knowing that he's not really fully as invested as he should be and that's not okay so anyways I kind of put a dead I, I, I walked away from it and you know it's just one of those things like yeah so it's just one of those things but I would say to that I would say please know your worth know your value because it's totally not worth it right so a few things stood out to me in this particular case it's like okay if you're the type of person that's okay with literally a 
a, like advocating cheating first of all and for five plus years at that and you're okay with that you don't care about how this other person might feel if they were to find out that they're being cheated on then you're not the type of person that I need to be with obviously because the guilt would eat me alive like alive I will tell you guys that story some other time that's how I know but I would not be able to do it even even though technically it's not your fault because you're not the one in a relationship but really how cold-hearted do you have to be like really that's savage and then apart from that it's like you claim to love this person but you're okay with them going home to someone else every night get real no way no way so it's like you can't claim to love someone but you're okay with them going out every night I've never seen a guy especially guys you know be be totally cool with that if they really love you there's no way what well, like I don't know what that is to me that's selfishness you know you want something but you don't really love that person and even for women it's like how do you do that I don't know how you would do that at least for me I don't know how you would you could do that you could truly love someone but yet be okay with them going home to someone else every night I wouldn't be able to do it but you know nonetheless and then it's also it's like how much are you valuing yourself because obviously your bar is right here because she's cheating on someone for six years and this is the person that you want you know it's not even someone that's choosing you you know so the bar is pretty low so it's like if I were to take you then where does that put me that puts me right down here with you and I'm not trying to do that and not only that it's like you know we spent time together during those three weeks and stuff and I just wasn't happy like I, I didn't feel like we were vibing I didn't feel <laughs> I didn't feel jack squat you know I don't want you to take my video down so I'm not gonna throw out cuss words at you guys but we'll keep it PG cuz I know some of you guys are pretty young you know so I'm not trying to get the cuss words going and shit oh I let one slip but that's <laughs> we'll try we'll try but it's how much are you really valuing yourself you know and then you want to you have the nerve and the guts you guys so let me tell you this he literally walked out the last time we saw each other and when I finally decided to call it quits for good he, he he, that's when he admitted to me that there was someone else he literally admitted to me and this was so this was after months of us not speaking he randomly reached out to me one night asked me to come hang out and I said yes and by the end of the night he had had a couple of drinks and we had had fun like we did karaoke I got him to sing and stuff like that and then uh, we were hanging out and he I, I don't know if he caught the guilt trip or what the deal was but he had then proceeded to admit to me how I think he just needed someone to talk to I think maybe he was going through a difficult time or maybe she was playing with his emotions I don't know but then he starts telling me about how there's this girl there's this other girl and how you know he's trying to make things work with her and really wants to be in a relationship with her so literally five to ten minutes after he told me I asked I think I, I asked the two questions two or three questions that I was curious about I was like how long has this on and off thing been going on I can't really remember the second question that I asked but I know I asked like a total of two questions at most and so that means about five to ten minutes after he told me I kicked them out legit you guys I was like leave thank you and a minute before kicking him out one to two minutes before kicking him out I said listen I wish you the best but I can't keep going back and forth with you especially now that I know the truth because I've always kind of su suspected that I had always kind of suspected that something like that might have been going on 
but I didn't know because he would never tell me like I would ask and he wouldn't tell me during the times when we were like on and off we'd start talking again and I would be kind of apprehensive about talking to him and I would say hey are you talking to someone else because I don't want to talk to you if you are but he would never really admit it and so we talked but then we'd stop talking because he never was giving me what I was looking for it was never I never felt like it was fully in so uh, and like I said this was a really really this was a while ago this was a long time ago this was a long time ago but it's something that I learned a lot from and I think that I don't I didn't really find a lot of videos pertaining to this and I think just being the side chick I don't know that a lot of people put up videos about being the side chick but not the side chick but the rebound chick I kept saying side chick I don't know why but the rebound chick you know and so literally you guys when he told me I asked those two or three questions and that's all I needed to know and I kicked them out and I before kicking them out I said listen I wish you the best I even gave him a hug you know but I was like I wish you the best but it's not for me I can't deal with that you know, I don't even know why you you asked me to hang out. It's because you they were obviously going through something and he was feeling lonely or something. I don't know. So, anyways, he had the nerve to come back, though. You guys, oh my God. He sought me out. Because I'm telling you, I deleted everything. And I was not responding. And so, months later, he reached out to me via Facebook. And then that's when that whole thing happened with me saying well you've had this whole time what about this female that you told me about and he told me the he get, went into more detail and told me well she's been in a relationship too and like they finally tried it this this time around and she decided that she did not want to be with him after all she said I think verbatim I'll never love you in the same way that you love me or something like that and so now he's here because he's like I've always wanted to be with you but I was never free to free to do it and so this was over the course of three weeks and at, at the end of the three weeks I just kind of made my decision it doesn't necessarily take me the longest time you guys if you know me to make decisions like that I mean I just have to see enough right but after three weeks I told him I'm good I can't do it I'm sorry and he was trying really hard he was trying hard but I think he was just trying hard because you know he's 40 years old he's older he's like I should probably settle down and it's like you should have thought about that six years ago when you were pursuing someone that was clearly in a relationship and if you valued yourself at least you would have given the girl an ultimatum but what kind of human being are you you guys that's scum behavior so if you're in something like that, you got to find a way to get out because that's scum behavior. Like you don't even care about this person that you might be hurting. You just, you don't care and it doesn't make any sense to me, right? So I just could not be associated with that. I couldn't let my psyche be interrupted by that in any way, shape or form. So anyways, that's my story, but value yourself, know what you're worth don't choose someone because if he could do it to this person that he doesn't care it, that it's affecting he'll cheat on you too you know because you can tell there's no conscience there there's no like anything that's like stopping him he'll cheat on you too it's not gonna be anything like it's nothing so you gotta know your worth you gotta value yourself and do it even as hard as it may be just cut it off no it's done I'm good like I need better I deserve better and I can't have that negativity in my psyche in my sight and in, in just my my life period you know just rid yourself of the negativity be strong and you know you deserve better you know you're better than that and don't be the rebound chick if he's just getting out of a relationship or something like that well then you need to take a couple of months close to maybe even a year to get your shit together do not come over here because you want me to fill a void for you because that there's now a void from whatever the the breakup that person leaving there's now a void and now you want to you want me to fill that for you no like fix it yourself you know and then maybe six to twelve months in we can have a conversation but 
you have to be good you can't come to me and expect me to be good for you or help you be good you have to do it yourself so don't be the rebound chick don't do it it's not worth it that means he chose someone else over you so it's like you already made your decision so what are you doing here you should have thought about it you know it's like if you make this decision there's no going back you don't get to have your cake and eat it too so you made your choice it didn't work out you got to stick with the choice that you made that's how I see it so at the end of the day it's like he made his choice you made your bed now you got to go lay in it and now you want to come back to me I don't think so so don't be the rebound chick guys like if he was really about that life he would have chosen you and if he made a mistake in his choice that's his mistake to live with point blank period you can't you cannot allow that negativity in your circle in your life you're worth way more than that you're worth someone that's going to choose you first no re no rebounds no rebounds here no rebounds here no re no you don't be a rebound it's not worth it there's no point to it just don't do it don't do it all right you guys well thanks for joining me today i love you so so much if you haven't already please subscribe and join the mayday family and um Leave your comments below. Let me know what type of situations have you guys been in. Let's talk about it. I'll make a video about it. I've probably been through it. So tr trust me, I was dating for a really long time. So um, let me know. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys some more. Bye-bye.